Ah, yeah. We're going to do a story. And this story is called Whatever Next by Jill. Can I go to the moon? Asked Baby Bear. No, you can't, said Mrs. Bear. It's bath time. And anyway, you'd need to find a rocket first. Baby Bear found a rocket in the cupboard under the stairs. He found a space helmet on the draining board in the kitchen and he found a pair of space boots on the mat by the front door. He packed his teddy and some food for the journey and he took off up the chimney. Whoosh! Out into the night. An owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you going to? The moon, said Baby Bear. Would you like to come too? Yes, please, said the owl. An aeroplane roared out of the clouds. Baby Bear waved and some of the passengers waved back. On and on they flew, up and up, above the clouds, past millions of stars, until at last they landed on the moon. There's nobody here, said Baby Bear. There are no trees, said Owl. It's a bit boring. Shall we have a picnic? asked Baby Bear. What a good idea, said Owl. We better go, said Baby Bear. My bath will be ready by now. Off they went, down and down. The Owl got out and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was so nice to meet you. It rained and the rain dripped through Baby Bear's helmet. Home went Baby Bear back down through the chimney and onto the living room carpet with a bop. Mrs. Bear came into the room. Look at the state of you, she gasped as she led him away to the bathroom. Why, you look as if you've been up the chimney. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I have been up the chimney. I found a rocket and I went to visit the moon. Mrs. Bear laughed. You and your stories, whatever next. <sighs> the 